Hello Libra and welcome to Lotus Spirit Tarot. My name is Shannon Colleen and this is going to be your 2024 yearly prediction. Before we get started, I do want to let you know that yes, I am available for personal readings. So if you want to hear, hold on, there's a jet coming. Oh, maybe not. I think he turned. <laughs> if you want to hear from your angels, guides and ancestors directly go to the description box below click on the more button and then click on the booking link okay the booking site <sighs> all right Libra. i have a feeling things are going to move very fast for you in 2024 we're going to get your overall energy from the divine the reason i say that is right before i was going to hit record on this that jet really did pass by and uh was very low okay it was very low so i feel like things are really going to speed up very fast for you okay so let's see what your overall energy is show me clearly for okay see <laughs> i told you fast <laughs> all right libra you have here passion for purpose wow libra i've been feeling this for you for probably the last couple months um where things are really turning in your favor, you're really passionate about what you're doing or who you're with or life purpose, right? So with the number two here, I really feel like you're connecting with your life purpose, what you want to show the world. You may even have love come in, uh, the right soulmate type of energy that comes in with your higher self with careers with friends with lovers it's just a really well balanced year for you because twos are about balance and you are the scales right i would not be surprised if we saw justice come out in the major arcana that's your card i just feel like you just you feel like you gotta go i gotta do no more sitting back no more putting things on the back burner and i think that's a really beautiful energy Let's see what we have here in the guidebook. All right, Libra. As we grow on the spiritual path, so, do, so too does our ability to serve life, to serve love, to honor humanity, and to offer a contribution that is unique to us, that could only flow in this particular way through the quality of our own soul light. Every light holds its own beauty, and every light has a particular task to fulfill on the divine path of life. Life supports all beings based on their true nature. The birds are given air to which to fly, and the fish are given water in which to swim. Plants are given light of the open plains or darkness of the damp rainforest, depending on their needs for growth. Different flowers flourish in different environments. Bees have wings that are very small but powerful enough to move with such speed and rotation that their heavy bodies can fly. Each aspect of creation is given what it requires so it may become what it is meant to be for its unique destiny to be filled. So yeah, I mean the sentence here that is really popping out is each aspect of creation is given what it requires so it may become what is meant to be you are going to be filled with all sorts of resources in the earthly plane from the spiritual plane in order to move life forward for you in again a very passionate way i feel like a lot of you are awakening to what it is you want to contribute again to this world which also means to you Okay, a lot of times, and I've been saying this a lot lately, it's been coming up, Libra. Um, to live a life of service is not to be in uh, denial of your own needs, right? You don't have to be poor to be of service. We associate these things. This is not the time of Mother Teresa, you know, in that kind of sense. Okay, it, that's not your life purpose. Your life purpose is to have abundance. Okay, it really is. But there's a balance between that servitude that we put out. So I'll use myself as an example, Libra. This is a, actually a very good example. I am meant to give the messages, right? I am the messenger for spirit. 
However, I am not to just do this always for free, right? I've got my private channel, private readings. So I don't want you to get into a space of being unbalanced where it's like, okay, I want to live my life purpose. I want to give, I want to serve, whatever that is for you. It would be like being a nurse and not getting paid, right? Don't put yourself in that place, okay? Don't do that. That's not what we're here for. Yes, we are to be of service to others, but also live an abundant, passionate, wealthy, well-balanced life, okay? I don't know why that's coming out so strong. All right, let's see what we have here. Angels, guides, ancestors for Libra. What is the message, please? 2024, what is the message? That's too many. Can I just have one or two, please? Thank you. So our first card out here is the Seven of Rings. Putting investment and diligence into what you are passionate about. You are going to invest in you. You are going to invest in your business, your job, your career, your love. You're going to invest in that with diligence. You're going to be very focused on what this passion is, what this purpose is. Now, our life purpose, the one and only big life purpose that we have, the main, if you will, is bliss and happiness. Your life purpose should not be something you dread, Okay, something that is difficult. Mm -mm, exact opposite. It's things that bring you joy, happiness, and bliss. But you are investing in those things. Okay? As you should be, Libra. Show me clearly. That's too many. Show me clearly. What is the message, please? Show me clearly. What is the message for Libra? And I feel like the more you invest in this, the more results you're going to see. There we go. Wow. Okay. First and foremost, we're going to take this card, which is the Spirit of Rings. This is the productivity. This is um, Pentacles, right? This is the endurance. This is I'm putting all my energy into this productivity. It's the night, right? I am going to invest in me. I love these two cards together. So it doesn't mean that there won't be love or good partnerships that come in. But I feel like Spirit is telling you, in order to do that, in order to manifest those things, you have to invest in you and what you're doing. How are you spending your time? What are you studying? What are you putting out there? And when you do that, and you take this time, right, this diligence, this investment, this productivity, right, that's when the Two of Cups comes in. Okay? Again, 2-2. Two, two. 22 is a master builder. You're building something amazing for your life here. This can be love. And if that's the case, romantic love is your focus in 2024, then you're working on you and being the best version of you. However, remember, this Two of Cups, this soulmate energy can be career, job, work, what you do for a living. It can be a home. It can be a car. We talk about this all the time, right? And it's that balance. I love these twos for you because it's the a balance that you want and desire. And you're not going to believe this because these three cards came out together. We also have the Two of Wands. So you're going to want to look up angel number 222 first and foremost. And this says independence and achievement this is very important for you this two of wands this is the inspiration this is the passion part okay now independence does not mean you will be alone we have the two of cups but independently you are working on you and what you're doing to allow the right people situations and opportunities to come in for you it all starts with the end but you will achieve this because you're putting the time and effort into it, which I love to see. I love this for you, Libra. I truly do. I think it is about time that you put yourself first here and what your desires are. A lot of times, Libra, I love you, but you will definitely, you want everything to be so fair and balanced as it should be. But you do it to your detriment where it's really not fair and balanced for you. Not anymore. Not in 2024. 
Show me clearly for Libra, please. Show me clearly for Libra. Look at that. Knight of Cups. There's the opportunity. There, it says it right there. There's the opportunity. It's like they're confirming what I said. You do this part. You're going to attract in this achievement, this opportunity, these new creative ways of being and living. Offers coming in. This is the Knight of Cups, right? This is like the offer of the perfect career, the offer of romantic love, whatever it might be for you, Libra. It's all different for all of you. But overall, they're just saying, do the work that means something to you. Okay, this would be like if you're working on self-love and being the best version of you, what does that mean, Libra? That means don't follow the crowd, right? Wear what you want to wear, you know, <laughs> kind of thing, like your true self coming out. I'm just showing examples there. Show me clearly, please. What is the message for Libra? Yeah, and I would definitely, whoa, hold on, hold on, Libra. Oh, we are not taking these. There's too many, but they fell on the floor. So let me grab those. I would definitely check out your other placements too. Okay. Your moon, your Venus, and especially your rising. I always watch all of mine, um, but especially your rising. Okay. Show me clearly. So if you have like a rising in Taurus, go watch that, whatever it might be. All right. I love this. Nine of rings. That's a nine of pentacles. For those of you who are longtime viewers, thank you. You already know this. If you're new, thank you for being here. The nine of pentacles for me is my favorite card in the deck. Fortitude and abundance. The independent wealth that attracts even more wealth. And wealth can be in love, in health, in money, right? So you are on your way. You are definitely on your way. You're not... You're not waiting anymore. You're going after it, okay? You're just not waiting anymore. You want balance in your life. You want success in your life. And whatever version that is for you, Libra, and you're bound and determined to get it, by investing in the right things, which first and foremost is you, investing in you. All right, what do we have for Libra? Ooh, I almost dropped those cards. Show me clearly for Libra. What is the message for Libra, please? Wow, okay. We are gonna take both of those. I, if, it's, if it's two or less, I usually take them, sometimes three. Wow, I know that I always figure things out. I know that things do work out for me. Yeah, that's what you're doing. You're investing in yourself and you're going to figure out some answers, right? And then you also have, <laughs> I view myself through kind eyes. Again, being your true self, living your true life. Investing in you, right? Investing in you. And because you put that investment, you put all that uh, productivity in you, it leads to greater things, right? So that can be in getting more education for a job that you really desire to do. That could be starting your own business. That could be, again, romantic love. But it all starts with investing in you. And I love it. So with that being said, all of my love, light, and blessings to you, Libra. Until next time.